it's been uh, positive in terms of uh, our performance, uh, negative in terms of really poor goals we give away, uh, and we're better than that. Um, but look, for the football club as a whole, really great day. Uh, fans were perfect, uh, uh, right behind the boys from start to finish. Um, boys carried out the game plan. We was we was well in the game. Uh, as I said we gave shouldn't be considering from set piece. Um, shouldn't be giving the two sloppy goals away. Uh, we got a goal as well. Um, three debuts, uh, two excellent performances in Oliver Denham and Eli King. Um, and yeah, some a day that I think the football club can be really, really proud of, and uh, uh, one that will will hopefully put us in a, a good position now going into the rest of the campaign. Because obviously we head into another game on Wednesday in two days' time, so they come thick and fast. So yeah, so uh, that's our focus now. Yeah, it was unreal from when we first arrived to warming up and stuff. I think it's one of the best games in the world, so it's a great feeling to be here. The red card incident with or yellow card incident with Grief Keller. I don't think it was a red card, to be honest, because it was clear that Ibu Konate will get the ball afterwards. Um, he mishit the ball, obviously. He was there. He could have hit it. He mishit it. Um, and then hits the player. It's not a harsh tackle or whatever. It's a normal foul. So I don't think it was a red card. The penalty situation with Ibu, from my point of view, I was not so sure, to be honest. But that's now the situation. I think if he gives the penalty, it will not be overtaken. He didn't give the penalty, it will not be overtaken. So, because um, I think both you have good arguments for both decisions, that's it. We were probably lucky in that moment, but with the red card, I didn't see any luck. Uh, it's unbelievable, you know. I, couldn't, I wanted to run off celebrating, but I couldn't because we were 3-0 down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it was an unreal feeling. But, yeah. Great finish, Isaac Davis had a little bit of a Maisie. Uh, gave it to him and he did the rest. Um, you bring your subs on to have impact in the game, and he did that. Uh, yeah, it was a great finish. And in terms of the important part of the rest of this season, survival. Yeah. Do you think the debuts you've made today and the youngsters you've got coming through, has it actually said to you now you've got a stronger squad than perhaps maybe some of the fans may have thought you had? Uh, we've got a stronger squad because we've brought uh, more players in and it's obviously allowing those players now to not have the pressure on them and to enjoy themselves and to uh, grow at the right rate. And um, I think that's exactly what they're doing. And today they've had a taste. Uh, will they be involved Wednesday night? Most probably not, um, because uh, the team will look different on Wednesday night than it, w than it was today. Um, but we know that if called upon, they're ready. Finally, just look over to the Anfield Road end there for me. Yeah. And just remember what that looked like at the kickoff. Yeah, and great, they did right it? throughout the game. Yeah, they were, they were fantastic. That's it. There isn't, uh, there's no more superlatives to say about them. They were fantastic from the start of the warm up to the end of the game. Uh, I'm surprised they're not still in here now. <laughs>